Hey, all right. Hey, hey, everybody, RV enthusiasts here. Nice seeing you again. This video is about before you get on your magic cycle and ride it, make sure you make these changes. It's very important to make these changes before you put this on and get ready to ride. Make sure you do this first. All right, guys, so the first thing you want to do is turn your Magicycle on. It does not matter what Magicycle you have. It doesn't matter if it's the Cruiser, the Step Through Cruiser, the Cruiser Pro, the Step Through Cruiser Pro, or the Ocelot. They all use the same display. They all use the same, they all have the same function. So the first thing you do, once you turn it on, I reset this to factory settings because I've already used the bike. I've got, I don't know, a little bit, six miles on it or so. But the first thing you want to do is push the plus and minus button. That puts you into the menu, the, the, what they call hidden menu. Not quite hidden, but if you, if you look right here, we have wheel, speed limiter, brightness, voltage, advanced settings, dormancy, and then you can hit the up or the plus button and go to a second menu which is units password factory display and exit the first thing i want to tell you is if you set a password you better remember that password because there is no reset there you can reset it but if you don't remember the password you're out of luck you will be buying a new display uh and I think that's on all bikes. So if, if uh, well, it is across the board on Magicycle. If you, if you forget your password, and I've seen it on the, on, the, on the Facebook page, hey, I forgot my password. If you can't remember it, out of luck. Buy a new password or buy a new uh, display. Okay, so now if I hit the plus button, we're going to go to the next menu. But you hit the minus button, you're going to come to speed limiter. We'll touch base on that in a second. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to advanced setting. So keep hitting the minus button until you get to advanced setting. Once you get to advanced setting, hit the middle button, which is the I button. You don't have to hold it. Just hit it. Um, now, what you're going to do is you can hit the plus and minus to go up and down this menu. As you can see, the little arrow, the little yellow arrow is on speed sensor. I don't want to mess with that. I'm going to hit the down, uh, the minus button and go to power settings. Now, power settings, you can have 0 to 9, up to 9, 0 to 9 settings. You can have 1 through 7, 0 through 7, 0 through 5, 0 through 3. Um, but I'm going to keep it factory set at 0 to 7. So the other thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to push the I button twice. you got to push it twice. Now, once you push it twice, you're going to come up to the menu that has all of the PAS settings, 1 through 7. It doesn't have 0 because... Uh, you don't need a, a it, zero is basically pedal only or throttle. You pedal with your own power or you throttle. That's the only two. Now, all Magicycle bikes come with PAS1 at 40%. Um, that is too much power. That is way too much power for a new, new bike rider um, or someone who doesn't have experience on Magicycles. 40% of this, uh, this power is a lot. So we're going to reduce this, okay? So I'm going to keep moving this just because I'm going to touch the up and down button because I don't want it to time out on me. What we're going to do, we're going to reduce these. Now, if you were using 1 through 9 or 1 through 3, reduce those as well. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to take this first one down. And this is really, a, if anyone has never owned a Magicycle, that, this is really for you because people that have had them uh, do know this trick, should know this trick, and if they don't, they should do this. So the first one I'm going to put, just for my reference, is 15%. Then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click the middle button and go down to PAS2. PAS2, I'm going to reduce it down to about 25, maybe 22 then tap. All you do is tab the middle button. Don't hold it because it'll reset you completely. Then the third one I'm going to take to about 35.
Ah, let's make it 37. And then the fourth one I'm going to take to 50. Then the fifth one, maybe 65. And then the sixth one, maybe 82. And then the last one, well, let's make it 80. Five. And then the last one I want to take up to 100. All right. And then push the middle button and hold it. That has reset those, those, uh, those percentages in your power band to a reasonable amount uh, uh, expectation off of uh, PAS1 and PAS2. Okay. So now we're going to do one more thing. I'm going to show you this. We're going to press and hold. We're going to come over to speed limiter. Speed limiter from the factory is set at 20 miles an hour. That's just fine. That's just fine to learn your bike as well. You can change that to a, a, another level. So once you're on speed limiter, you can change it up and down. You can lower it all as slow as 9 miles an hour or 8 miles an hour or, or as high as 28 miles an hour. I'm an expert. At least I proclaim to be an expert bike rider. Uh, but it, certainly an advanced bike rider. I'm going to run mine at 28. It comes factory set at class 2 at 20 miles an hour, but you can make it a class 3 by pushing it to 28. Now I'm going to hit and save that as well. Now I'm going to come back in one more time, and I'm going to show you one more thing. And these are the important things to know uh, for power to your bike. Um, I'm going to hit the advanced setting again. And now I'm going to come down here to current limit. This is a 22 amp controller. The factory has set this bike at 20 amps. Um, you can lower this if you want by going 19, 18, 15, 17, whatever, right? Um, I think that the Magicycle Cruiser and the Magicycle Step Through come preset at 15 amps. Um, you can leave it at that. Or you can raise this all the way up to 22 amps. I'm going to set mine at 22 amps just for a top speed test. But other than that, I'm going to bring this back to, to um, 20 amps and leave it there. That's plenty fast enough. Anyway, now the bike is set for your first few rides, maybe your first week or second week of getting used to riding this bike. That's all I needed to show you on this aspect of the bike. All right, guys, we're going to take off and go for a speed test. How fast will this bike go up and down the block one time? Um, I'm at 100% charge on the battery, so we'll see how fast this bike goes. The other day going the same route, I got 29.9 miles an hour on the uh, slightly downhill slope of the of the block and then I got 28.5 on the uphill slope and that was on 67% power with 20 amp uh, of the controller being used. Now hopefully I don't get scared around that slight bend and slow down. Uh, I think I need all of it to get the speed but here we go. showing you the speed as well. Uh, you should have both of them in your sights, uh, somewhat of the front of where we're going, and the speed of the bike.
So this bike on a slight downhill hit 30. All right, now we're gonna ride back up to the top. And when we hit the flat, we should do over 28 miles an hour, 28.5, 28.6, something like that. Again, I'm not pedaling, I'm not giving it any assist. This is just a test. And by the way, this does eat up battery. I don't believe the number on the battery is what it is, but we are producing a lot of voltage and a lot, a lot of current drain. and I had to come to a stop. 29 miles an hour and I had to come to a stop. But I think it was uh, it's topped out there. So on flat ground 29, slight downhill 20 or 30. And uh, this bike is fast, guys. This little bike is fast. And there's cruise control. Look, cruise control. All right, so the next bike ride might be a range test. Um, all right, guys, that is one fast bike. All right, so the next ride may be a range test. I may be riding it to see how far it'll go. Now, the thing I noticed, when you're full out on this bike and you've got that throttle cranked open and you've got your... your um, your current set to 22 amps, uh, it's draining the battery really fast. So uh, my recommendation maybe is to lower that a little bit. If you're going to go for a longer ride, maybe drop it to 15 amps. So you're conserving a little bit of that, uh, that torquey power uh, from the controller. Um, but we'll see what it gets. I'm, I might have to do two range tests. I may have to do one at 22 amps, which I'm assuming if I'm doing all that, man, it's not going to get far. But uh, it, hopefully we get 20, 22 miles, 24 miles. I would think if it's set like the other Magicycles, um, we should get 26 or 28 miles. Uh, throttle only at about 22, 23 miles an hour. We'll see. I don't know. Um, and also look forward to... A ride with the daughter-in-law she's gonna come over and ride this thing but that's probably a couple of videos out another thing I do have another bike that's arrived and um, I'm gonna be doing a lot of videos on it um, that company wants me to make some uh, maintenance videos those maintenance videos will apply across the board really for for any bike um, I don't know if I'm gonna release them publicly or if I'm just going to give those to the company, but uh, we'll see. Uh, I'll release some of it, um, but maybe not all of it. Anyway, thanks for joining me, and uh, this video was for uh, a couple of people, all new Magicycle bike owners, and uh, for my friends Enrique and Bob. I know these are your first Magicycles. Be careful out there, guys, and we'll catch you on the next episode. Thanks for joining me.